guys welcome back okay so today I have a nice little chill depotting video for you guys first I'm gonna depot this pumpkin spice palette from peachy queen now me and this palette just do not get along I've used it about three times and every time that I've used it I just do not like it I don't like the way that these shadows perform together so since I can't bring myself to get rid of it, I'm hoping that by depotting it, maybe me intermingling these shadows with my other singles might work out better for a look um, for me. So I'm just swatching them right now so you can kind of get an idea of what the swatches from this palette looks like, just in case you are interested in purchasing it for yourself. But for me, as a unit, this palette just doesn't work. So. I'm spraying it down with some alcohol first just to kind of wet the shadows. I did get a nice tip from one of my viewers that said if I spray them down with alcohol beforehand that they will crumble less. So these are the tools I'm using today, an X-Acto knife, I always have a butter knife and a depotting tool. And I found that when depotting cardboard palettes, it's so much easier if you can get in there and separate the top portion of the palette that holds the shadows from the base because once you peel back all of the decorative packaging and get down to the cardboard you'll see that there is a separation where you can try and get the knife in between the cardboard and separate them and it gives you much better access to the shadows as you can see I'm just kind of peeling that cardboard back so I can get to those shadows more easily now I found that this palette was actually pretty easy to depot as you can see I'm just lifting up the shadows with a butter knife and pulling them away from the cardboard the glue is sticking to the pan but it's coming off fairly easily. I'm just slowly taking my time to remove it. Now, a lot of times when glue is stuck to the cardboard like that, it can be very hard to get it off the back of the pan, but these were very easy. The reason why you wanna get all of that glue and paper off the back of the pans is because when you go to stick your metal sticker on, for the magnetic palette you need to have a nice flat clean base for that so you need to make sure you get all that gunk off the back of your shadow so this is what it looks like with all the shadows removed one palette <laughs> depotted now this is the palette i'm using today it's a giant give me glow palette that i bought during a black friday sale it holds quite a few shadows and I'm just kind of putting some palettes that I'm depotting in here for now. Now these are my metal stickers that I purchased from Amazon and I'm just using a black sharpie to write down the name of the palette. Now me personally I don't really care about shade names. <laughs> I just I don't. So I don't take the time to write down the actual shade name. I just write down the palette name and stick those on the back of those shadows because that's pretty much all I need to know. Because I am depotting so many palettes and I'm acquiring so many different single shadows, I at least want to know what palette they came out of. So that's what I'm doing here, just writing down the name of the palette and sticking these metal stickers on the back of each shadow and pressing it down pretty hard just to make sure that it's on there good occasionally you'll come across some of the metal stickers that either are missing a sticky back or it doesn't stick very well so it's kind of good to have like a little bottle of super glue or if you have a hot glue gun that is really helpful to stick on the ones that don't stick very well or if they just happen to be missing a sticker so as you can see I'm just lining it up nicely into my palette before I figure out how I want to organize these
I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep that one, but I decided at the last minute to go ahead and keep it. So this is what I have so far. Next, I decided I wanted to go ahead and depot one of my, uh, what is this, BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Gilded Palette. I have the Smoky that I wanna depot as well, but I'm gonna start out with this Gilded Palette. As you can see, it's very, just basic. <laughs> not anything exciting but there are some very pretty shimmers in here so I did decide that I wanted to keep some of the shimmers all of the other shadows that I'm not really interested in I'll just go ahead and toss but as you can see like that yellow and that salmon shade those are kind of nice to have as singles so I decided I wanted to keep those so once again I'm spraying the palette down with alcohol just to kind of steady the shadows and this time I'm going in with my depotting tool and I'm just going to take and run that underneath that plastic encasement and separate it from the actual palette itself as you can see it lifted up fairly easily it's just glued in with a few dots of glue and it's very flexible so it's easy to cut through it with the exacto knife but make sure you're very careful when using that exacto knife because you can cut yourself but as you can see there's some really pretty shimmers in this palette so i decided to go ahead and remove those first since i knew those were ones that i wanted to keep and they're popping out fairly easily from the plastic encasement which is always a plus when you're depotting sometimes it can get very tedious if the glue doesn't want to give if the shadows break easily <laughs> it can be very discouraging if it is not an easy job so this one I was very very pleased with because I was able to just pop those out of that encasement very very easily Now I'm going back in with some more of the metal backings and I'm just going to write like BH uh, Gilded. I think on these I wrote BH Glam Reflections Gilded just so that I will know exactly what palette they came from. And once again, just sticking those on the back of each shadow and placing them in my magnetic palette. It's so funny when you start depotting and you're, you get your shadows out of the palette, it's so much fun to be able to put them in the order that you want them in because a lot of times in a palette, the shadow configuration just doesn't make sense or it's not inspiring and it kind of sometimes will cause you to not even want to use the palette. So it always feels really good to me when I get the shadows out because I can kind of play around with them and do whatever I want with them. So I do really like that about depotting. So this is what I have so far, the two palettes that I have depotted and the shadows that I am keeping. So lastly, I am going to go ahead and depot my other Glam Reflections palette from BH Cosmetics and this one is the Smoke palette. Very pretty palette but I will say I was pretty disappointed with the blues in this palette. One blue looks fairly nice but the other one is very crumbly so kind of disappointed with this palette but there are some shadows in here that I do want to keep so once again I'm just popping it up dragging my tool around that plastic and removing it from the palette. And these palettes, since they are hard encasements, you can actually use it to make another magnetic palette if you want. Just put a magnetic base in there and you're good to go. And they're really cool because they have a mirror inside of them. So I might do that in the future. Haven't decided yet, but I did keep those palettes just in case. So here I'm just going through trying to decide exactly which shadows I do want to keep and don't want to keep. I do that <laughs> a few times when there are shades that I'm not sure about. I might swatch them several times just because of the fact that 
Sometimes it's hard to decide if you want to throw a shade away or not. But this one <laughs> gave me a little bit of difficulty. It was a little bit harder to pop the pants from the plastic. So I did have one that kind of went awry, as you can see here. And it's funny because this was one of the colors that I really wanted to keep. It's like a really dark, deep, dark sea green type color. So I just kind of pressed it back in the pan, as you see here, sprayed it down with some alcohol. It's not pretty, but it's still gonna work just fine when it dries. So now I'm just going in preparing the stickers for these shadows and I'm going to place them on the back and put them in my magnetic palette as well. I wanted to make sure that I pressed down on the sticker really, really hard because sometimes they can loosen up if they don't stick very well. And you don't want your shadows sliding around in your palette because they can break. So this is what I have. All three palettes that I depotted today. Very, very happy. I enjoyed my depotting session. I hope you did as well. And I really like this Give Me Glow palette. So. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.